What is up guys, TechRax here, so I know it's been a minute, but I got a new video for you guys, and yes, we're using gloves today, guys. We got an E320 wagon, Mercedes. We're gonna fill it up with some laundry detergent. So, um, there's been a thing saying that, you know, basically when you fill this up in a car, it actually cleans the internals, the engine, all that stuff, the uh, injectors, fuel injectors, all that stuff. We're gonna put it to the test and see if it's true, but first of all, here's a little look around the car, guys, beautiful runs great look at that back oh my goodness that's beautiful relatively clean inside it's got about 200,000 miles but it runs here's a look inside the hood everything seems to be in a uh, tip-top shape now I gotta say guys before we pour tight into this gas tank I want to thank our sponsor for this video guys you already know the one and only raid shadow legends now i'm gonna be honest guys raid got me hooked this game is actually free to play both on mobile and pc and in a quick nutshell you have a group of champions this is your crew and you're out there destroying different monsters and dragons and lizards and elves and all sorts of different creatures while pursuing this campaign which i haven't finished myself at the same time you're leveling up your characters you're upgrading your weapons and armor and you can see defeating this crazy lizard boss like i did oh Look at that, I mean just straight up, get him, get him boy, get him boy, that's how I do it, that's how I do it. There's also a portal where you can open shards and unlock rare characters, there's a tavern where you can upgrade your champions and sacrifice them for even better ones, there's a PvP battle where you can literally battle against other players and by the time you're watching this guys, there's already a brand new tag team arena out there in the game. And since it's brand new, developers will be giving out special rewards. So click the link down below. You actually get 100,000 free silver and a free champion. So make sure you click that inbox to claim your rewards. So good luck, guys, and I'll see you guys there. So let's go ahead and start pouring the Tide inside the gas tank just to show you guys in there. I know it's a little bit hard to see here. Okay, keep going. Now we're just pouring the rest of the bottle here at a quicker rate um, and you can see it's actually leaking down but it is going inside as well. And I think that's enough guys so we're going to go inside just to try it out and to see how the car runs. So, so let's find out what happens guys. So I'm going to pull it into drive right now. Accelerating. So far so good. Smooth guys. We're going into about 10-15 miles an hour. Moving on to 20 and I'm just going to kind of gradually drive at this rate of speed for now until I can make it to the next stop sign and uh, just see what happens. Um, overall, I don't hear any anything rough. I don't hear any idle. Um, seems like more I'm hearing more of suspension issues than anything, but like the car is driving fine. So I'm going to drive up to the stop sign here. We're going to turn around there and hopefully everything will be good so far but cars driving at 20 fine braking we're stopping at a stop sign this is where something may go wrong but perfectly fine we're accelerating accelerating right now and everything is fine i'm going to pop a u-turn right now and see does the car turn around reverse it's definitely passing the first test here which is really really cool to see a little acceleration there perfectly fine we're back at the stop sign. Now we're gonna really kind of gas it, uh, give it some more acceleration here. That's 40 miles an hour. Car's driving perfectly fine. 50. Beautiful. No issues, guys. This is a Mercedes for you right here in a nutshell, guys. German engineering. We're gonna pour the last bit of Tide that's in here inside. Now anything that you guys see dripping, that's just a little bit. Most of it is going inside, so there's just so much of it. And I think that's that's the whole bottle right there. So we have a whole bunch inside. All right, round two, we're driving again, accelerating. The whole bottle of Tide is now inside the Mercedes. Now I'm starting to actually hear something circulating in the engine, almost like some liquid. You hear that? It's almost like a little, like something is, uh, some gears or something is loose up in there. But I'm gonna pop a turn here. We're just gonna gradually drive it around here. At a slower rate of speed right now, there's vehicles all around me here, so I gotta take it easy. 
smashing it. Oh, whew, not bad. Still braking, making a lot more noise. It feels like something is just falling apart inside of this car, but yet it's still running seamlessly. Guys, I don't think that would happen with like a BMW. <laughs> but, hey, let's uh, be like, let's open up the hood and see. Oh, oh, yep. It just stalled. So as soon as I popped it into reverse, the car just fully shut off. Let me hit part, turn off. Let me try and turn it on. Oh, so close. One more time, one more time. It's running. We have the business. Let's get in the car and see what happens. Yes! Oh. We pulled it out, guys. It stalled for five minutes, literally wouldn't start. But for the fifth, sixth time, the check engine light is on now. Uh, but the car is driving. We got the car to drive. Um, so this is pretty crazy, guys. I've never had this where the car shut off and we tried and we tried and we finally got the car to drive again, guys. I mean, this Mercedes is just straight up powerful. We're gonna put a turn and I'm afraid to fully stop the car now because I know this car might and it's idling rough right now already. Let's pop a U-turn here. Let's hope for the best. Oh, we got it, we got it. Another U-turn, guys. I'm gonna actually try and gas it one last time just because it's so fun. We're gonna see what happens here. We're gonna pop that right, and hopefully there's no cars. There's no cars, we're about now we're gassing motor. it. Oh, very, very slow acceleration. Very slow acceleration, high RPMs, 5,000 RPMs, but it's not, oh, it did shift. Shifted fine. Let me go right here. Oh, now the steering is like, Oh, it's shut off, it's shut off. Yeah, it's shut off, it's shut off. Yep, check lamps. Okay, let's go ahead and just turn on the car here. Reversing, it's still reversing. <laughs> let's hit drive. It's yes, still yes, driving, yes, it's still driving. I'm holding, I'm smashing gas really? right now, very slowly, but it's driving. And full it throttle, off full again. throttle. Full throttle right now, we're at full throttle. 4,000 RPMs, but only 20 miles an hour. All the lights are on, check engine, ABS, BAS, ESP. Yeah. We're gonna take a Do turn again. Oh, oh, it turned off. <laughs> the wheel, the wheel isn't <laughs> steering. Okay, for a second, guys, the wheel wasn't steering. All right, let's put it, <laughs> let's go and park, guys, again. Did you smell that? It smells like bleach inside, like it's coming from the... Let's maybe like inspect it or something. Yeah, let's go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Hold the gas. And every time this happens, it seems like it just starts back up again, which is so crazy because I've never had this happen before. Look at that. There you go. Cars back in running order. Does it drive? Try and accelerate them a little bit. Okay. Yep. Look at that. That's Mercedes. Oh my goodness. So it says reduce oil level. All sorts of weird things coming up on the dash on the display here. Check engine light. Bunch of lights. Okay, one more time. Gas it, gas it too. So that wraps it up guys. So short term, yes, laundry detergent does help clear up all the stuff inside your engine uh, with the fuel injectors, all that stuff gets it going better than oil. Um, but long term, if you're looking to drive it for like 30 minutes or longer, uh, probably not a good thing, not a good plan. It started knocking for a little bit here. Um, as you can see right there, we're starting the car. Um, but honestly, in terms of all the other vehicles guys, by far, Oh my goodness, this car's still driving, again. Are you serious? Gas it, gas it, gas it. Oh my goodness, this thing just doesn't give up, guys. This car's already toasted, it started making the knocking noise, yet look at that, it just drives away from me again. Pops a U-turn. 
perfectly fine. Oh my goodness, let's see. Can it keep driving? I guess it's stalled again here. Out of any vehicle that we tested, this has definitely been the most durable. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.